Yes, I thought I'd done rather bad last week. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm just about 100 points behind in second place. And if we look at last week's scores in the Porsche European Open, where I did think I did really bad. Um, dude, where's my power? Mark Skelton once again topped the table. 739 wasn't a massive total. I thought my 705 was very poor, but it actually was second overall on the week. And, you know, realistically, if I look at last week, uh, before I go to this week's team, we had a number of players who finished very poorly. Um, best was Alexander Bjork, who'll be back in this week again. Um, Torbjorn Olsen as captain, only tight 44th on a plus five score. Everybody get in for the weekend, which is, of course, um, you know, your goal, but. George Campillo, who was showing great form up to then, absolutely bombed, plus six, tied 54th, only 84 points. You can't have a double point scorer. Yannick Paul did the same, although that's a rare one for him. He's normally a lot better. But Adri Arnas, also a double point scorer. So we had three double point scorers on the week. Not great. And that didn't help my cause at all. This week, well, we move to... Um, Scandinavia, and if you're looking for the best bets for this week's Scandinavian mixed event on the DP World Tour, then you can do no better than check out my fantasy golf team's captain's picks for the week. It is time for the third renewal of the Scandinavian mixed, the event which took over from the existing Scandinavian Invitational on the DP World Tour is one of the most exciting tournaments of the season. This is because, as part of a brilliant initiative from the two European-based tours, the DP World Tour and the Ladies European Tour, it pitches 78 players from each tour in the same field, and they compete against one another in the same event. Similar, in fact, to our own green and red marker competition that my own club, County Armagh, have, where our male and female members compete against each other each weekend on Saturday and Sunday in that green and red marker competition. Jonathan Caldwell from Northern Ireland won the 2021 renewal, and last year Lynn Grant made history as a runaway winner, meaning we now have a win for each of the men and the ladies, and it's time to see what the 2023 event will bring. There will once again be a different venue this year, with Ulna Golf and Country Club playing host at this time, and it's based in Stockholm. Indeed, I visited Stockholm in June 2019, pre-COVID, when the world was such a different place. Stockholm was an amazing experience. In life, you have to step outside your comfort zone. And I was surrounded by people who added to my experiences. I learned so much from uh, them about the Swedish culture and traditions and indeed its schooling system. Its people are very friendly and open and its pristine waters and amazing museums made for such an, a, a superb visit. I'm proud to be a European teacher and thankful for having amazing European partners that took part in the Erasmus Plus program with me and for making those experiences possible. I do love my job and I've been involved in this year's Erasmus Plus experience once again. All my betting prices are of course from Boyle Sports and they offer unique golf bets each week across all the tours. First up this week, Lynn Grant coming in at 14 to one. Top female in the betting in this unique format. The Swedish lady is my cap for the week as she's already won again on the LET this season and will like her chances of going well in this renewal. Her Rolex ranking is 22. She is, of course, the defending champion. Magdalene Sagstrom, uh, 25 to 1, is the second Swede in my team for this week. Magdalene has not yet played before in this event, but she has finished 17th, 10th and 13th in her last three starts on the LPGA Tour. And that form should cross over positively in this event. Clara Davidson spilled Kova at 60-1. to 1. The Czech lady has finished 17th, 2nd and 4th in her past three starts on the LET. And like Sagstrom, she's making her debut start in this event with three top four finishes this season and a win in the Irish Open last year. Spilkova will look to make an impact this week and at 60-1 to 1 represents excellent value. Alex Noren at 14-1 to 1 tops the men's betting and I, I tops my male picks for the week. 
Uh, he's uh, the top male world ranking for the tournament, a Swedish native, and I think he'll enjoy the home crowd cheering him on. The Raider Cup star Norn will have something to say about Lynn Grant's ambitions as he returns to his hometown with ambitions to make Luke Donald's European Raider Cup team later this year. He spends much of his time these days in the PGA Tour, but is relishing the opportunity to show the home fans what he can do. Alexander Bjork is my number two male at 18-1. to 1. This Swedish player, is this, uh, he's, it's his fourth time in my team, and I reckon he will also be very comfortable this week. He's averaging 147 points per outing and is a steady point collector for my team when he's been in there. My final pick for the week, Sebastian Soderberg at 50 to 1. He's the outsider of the males. Third time in my team, he's had mixed fortunes, but as the fifth Sweden in my team for the Scandinavian mixed, I'm relying heavily on the lift home crowds will give to their local favourites.